Louis Thomas Jordan, July 8, 1908, February 4, 1975, was an American saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, songwriter and band leader who was popular from the late 1930s to the early 1950s. Known as the King of the Jukebox, he earned his highest profile towards the end of the swing era. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as an early influence in 1987. P.G. Wodehouse, born in 1881 in Guildford, England, and died in 1975, was a British comic writer. Educated at Dulwich College, he worked as a journalist and in Hollywood. He's famous for his humorous novels set in British upper-class society, featuring characters like Jeeves and Bertie Wooster. Knighted in 1975, he wrote over 90 books, translated into 35 languages, and adapted for various media. Elijah Muhammad was an American religious leader and the founder of the Nation of Islam. He played a key role in the Nation of Islam movement and the development of Black Islam in the United States. Muhammad preached to the African-American population, advocating for their economic, political, and social independence. His influence remains significant in American history and culture. Susan Haywood was an Academy Award-winning American actress, renowned for her portrayals of strong women in films based on true stories. Starting as a fashion model, she transitioned to Hollywood in 1937. Haywood gained recognition in the late 1940s for her dramatic talents, earning five Best Actress Oscar nominations and winning for I Want to Live, 1958. She continued acting until 1972, passing away from brain cancer in 1975. T-Bone Walker was a pioneering American blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the development of electric blues and rock music. Walker was known for his virtuosic guitar playing, innovative use of amplification, and smooth vocal delivery. His hits include Call It Stormy Monday and T-Bone Shuffle. Walker's style had a profound impact on generations of musicians, including B.B. King, Jimi Hendrix, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud became king of Saudi Arabia in 1964 and ruled until his assassination. He played a key role in modernizing the country, supporting education, and developing infrastructure. Faisal also led efforts to increase Saudi Arabia's role in world affairs, particularly through the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC. Faisal's influence remains significant in shaping the modern history of Saudi Arabia. Chiang Kai-shek rose to power in China leading the Nationalist Party after Sun Yat-sen's death. He united much of China by 1928 and fought against both internal communist forces and Japanese invaders during WWW2. After Japan's defeat, he faced a civil war against the communists and fled to Taiwan in 1949, where he ruled until his death in 1975. A symbol of the Jazz Age, Josephine Baker became a star of the theater in 1920s Paris. She first danced in Paris in 1925 before becoming a sensation the next year when she performed her now famous Dance Sauvage at the Folie Berger Cabaret Hall wearing just a skirt of bananas. During WDW2, Baker worked for French intelligence then for the resistance. In 1963, she spoke at the March on Washington alongside Martin Luther King Jr.
Francois Tombalbe was Chad's first president from 1960 to 1975. He ruled dictatorially, causing division with his policies favoring the South. As leader of the Chadian Progressive Party, he centralized power, leading to corruption and instability. His attempts at Africanization deepened the North-South divide. Frederick March was an acclaimed American actor born on August 31, 1897. He rose to prominence for his versatile performances on stage and screen. March won two Academy Awards for Best Actor for his roles in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, 1931, and The Best Years of Our Lives, 1946. Throughout his career, he showcased a remarkable range, excelling in both dramatic and comedic roles. March passed away on April 14, 1975, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. Percy Levon Julian, a groundbreaking chemist, overcame racial barriers to pioneer medicinal drug synthesis from plants. Notable achievements include synthesizing physostigmine for glaucoma treatment in 1935 and improving cortisone production during WW2. His legacy includes induction into the National Academy of Sciences and recognition on a U.S. postage stamp in 1993. Eamon de Valera played a crucial role in Ireland's independence and politics. Surviving the 1916 Easter Rising, he led Sinn Féin and later founded Fianna Fáil. Rejecting the Anglo-Irish Treaty, he served as Taoiseach and President, introducing a new constitution and declaring Irish neutrality in WDU2. He retired in 1973 after a long career shaping Ireland's path. Mo Howard was a comedic icon, leading the Three Stooges in their slapstick comedy shorts from the 1930s to the 1950s. Known for his bowl haircut and bossy persona, Howard, along with his brothers and later members, turned physical comedy into an art form. Their work remained relevant through television syndication, influencing generations of comedians and filmmakers. Off-screen, Howard was known for his kindness and leadership within the group. Kazimierz Fajans, a Polish-American physical chemist, collaborated with Frederick Soddy on radiochemistry research. In 1913, they developed the radioactive displacement law, Fijan's Rules, explaining how atoms transform during radioactive decay. Fajans also contributed to chemical kinetics and the study of crystal electronic structure, shaping modern understanding of radioactivity's role in chemistry and physics. Ezard Charles, was an American professional boxer considered by many to be the all-time greatest in the light heavyweight class. Known as the Cincinnati Cobra, Charles had a career that spanned from 1940 to 1959. He is most famous for defeating Joe Louis to win the heavyweight title in 1950, a title he successfully defended multiple times. Charles retired with a record of 93 wins, 25 losses, and one draw. Several years later, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, which eventually left him completely disabled. Isaku Sato was a Japanese politician who served as the 64th Prime Minister of Japan from the 25th of December 1964 to the 7th of November 1972. A leading member of the Liberal Democratic Party, LDP, Sato was known for his work in pushing forward the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation. He also oversaw Japan's hosting of the 1964 Summer Olympics, the first Olympic Games held in Asia. 
Under his leadership, Japan enjoyed a period of rapid economic development and he is generally considered to have been a successful prime minister.